going? Morning, Tom. Good, you? Oh, I mean, I've already contacted you. I'm here to pick up that zoning permit. Uh, I don't know which zoning permit. Well, I sent you an email about it. Uh, zoning permit for Jeff Chimber. Uh, I believe he is. He's in the, is, he, is he turning a garage into a house, a single? Uh, you did have a call. You had a call about that, and that's nothing I've been able to follow up on. I mean, no. I don't. Uh, I don't even. You had you mentioned something about where it was, but it's nothing I have not been able. Well, to no, he was here on Tuesday talking to you guys about it after the meeting too, behind closed doors. So I was just curious if you guys That's had. Not true. Well, I, I was here and witnessed it. So, anyways. How can you witness it if it was behind closed doors? Well, after the meeting was over, I mean, is no, what I'm saying. there was no closed door meeting after you were here. Sure. Anyway, whatever you're asking so for. So did, there's no have, zoning permit for I this? I don't have any zoning permit. The only zoning permit I have for him is one for his house. Currently? Like one recently. He didn't yeah. tell me the property, so I wasn't sure. I would like to get a copy of the zoning permit for whatever okay, he's doing. I can mark that, that as, as a request and everything. I'm but here to do a records inspection then, Michael. I don't have to do a FOIA request to be able to get a copy of a record. That. I understand that. I can, I'm allowed to do but this. You have to, you have to make an appointment for a records inspection. Right now, we're you don't have busy. to, you say this every time I come here, <laughs> Mr. Michael. That's the first time I've ever done that. No, it, actually I the last time. I contacted MTA and I said, this, this gentleman here was taking photographs of our documents. And so he said, were you sitting there? And they said, that was your problem. And they told me that you do not have to have, you, you do not have to do it on demand. You want to make an appointment with me to do it? I will submit. But otherwise, I have no time right now. Have I not tried to make appointments with you several times? That is not the point here. The point is, if you want to make an appointment now, we can set something up. But I'm actually very busy, and I I'm have I'm very busy, too. Yeah, to I, understand, I understand, Michael. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that you're the gatekeeper anyway. of being the clerk and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, it's going to be coming through on your, on your phone. That's fine. On 093. I'm going to go grab it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's on my desk. I'm just about to Excuse click me. it. Yeah. So, it would like to like to make a time on if, on Wednesday yeah. or Friday. Oh, yeah, my name, I understand. My name isn't uh, West Crombie, so I don't get, you know, special deals and stuff. I see what happens here. It's, it's very clear. Um, clear to you? No, maybe? I'm not going to take another day off work to make an appointment with you because you say you don't have time for me once again. Fine. So don't you don't have a pile of zoning you permits right there that I can I get. don't have the time to sit next to you and watch you. I'm not going to take any chance that you might be doing some some taking photographs, which is allowable. But what if you're making Look, changes or take a document? I will be sitting next to you when you want to inspect a, to inspect public records. That's my prerogative. Understood. Good. Then you want to so, make time? So no or one do you else want is, to go? You can't. I'm, I'm done now. With I have to go on with my job. I understand. I have stuff to okay. do too, Michael. Terrific. I don't. I don't want to stand here Can all day every day either. It's on there. It already redirected okay. you. So we got. I mean, we got major issues going on with the zoning not being followed. So what's the deal? I've asked several times for a copy of uh, Mr. Art Gallup's contract or how he's being paid. I gave you that information that as I told you that was all that we had. So you have a contract from two thousand two. Hold on one second. Yeah, but there, yeah, there was never enough for me. Yeah. So does Art okay. not have a contract? Okay. Excuse us. Just a minute. I just, I just want to see this one thing. So you don't have any pending. So is, do you have any uh, balances? Check your balance. That doesn't look like enough money in the, to, in your balance. Balance of twenty six seventy nine. Go down on this one. What's oh, this I'm one? Sorry. Oh, there it is. Yep. That's exactly what we paid. Yep. So mm -hmm. there's no reason that that should be there. Right. Now, hey, okay, Penny, that's what I want to know. Where did you, Penny, were you able to um, review the short-term rental stuff and see that the state has not taken control of short-term rentals from local jurisdiction? No. That was a mistake? Um, I am going to be looking at it. Okay, because I, we, okay, Jan, I we did provide copies with... Okay, I'm Excuse me. Sorry. We did provide copies, several copies, probably 15 different ordinances uh, from around the state to... Um, the treasurer, Miss Patricia, there, and uh, so if these townships and cities, 
enacted this, I think they know that they're allowed to do that. You know, so this isn't like a new thing. This has been going on for a while. So I'm not really sure where we're at with this. These, how this house was illegally zoned. I mean, you guys have heard this story several times now. And it's very frustrating to live next to um, a motel in a, that's operating in a residential district. And that's mainly what this is. I forwarded uh, copies from the Supreme Court of Michigan to uh, Miss Patricia Trimble as well about this, stating that these it is a residence because it's a house, right? That he built houses, but this is a commercial use of a house. So, well, we really need to come to some a grounds and agreement with this. It needs to be regulated. It's a business operating as a house. And if you guys, if this was happening next to your house, you guys would be very frustrated and upset as well. Especially when you guys let Mr. Art Gallup let the guy build the house 28 feet in front of my foundation. And I've read the ordinance right to you guys. And it, it clearly says that the, the house has to be in line with the foundation next to it. You know, and it's just, I'm tired of having to come up here and talk about these things. Like, I don't want, for one, I want to know why this happened. And for two, how are we going to prevent this from happening again? You know, I think Mr. R. Gallup needs to have, someone needs to be holding his hand. Or like, if he's approving these types of, that's a, that was a big uh, build. The guy spent over a million dollars on that property. Okay, so what I need is time to check out what you're saying so that I know how to respond to you. Okay. I understand that you're... you're... And, and a bunch of dialogue... Boom, 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 like this isn't going to help until I have the time to look at it. I know I've been told that no one has the time for me. It's been going on. Okay. This has been going on for 22 months. Just so you guys know, I mean, I brought this up to you guys 22 months ago, originally. And while I might not come to every single meeting, I mean, I bring the documents. I mean, you guys don't want to hear from me. You don't want to make time for me. I've I'm I've tried to make an appointment with Michael. Okay, but. He asked to set up a day. So have time. I. We had one set up. You did I, I'm the one who yeah. had you to set the date. So. Right, yeah. So I, I did originally have one set up like three weeks ago. Not and now day. there hasn't been any time since then to set up an appointment. And it's just like, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. You know, and I'm just tired of waiting. Can't help you. I know you said you, you tell me every time that you can't help me or I, you don't have time I'm done. for me. I'm done. I am trying to do my work here. So this is work too. This is you see, you're trying to say that thing. what I have is not no, important your, to you. Your stuff is important, but no, right it's now not. I'm focusing on problems that we have yeah. with our payroll. Okay, just like at a meeting, we run a business here, and it's, it's not really. Oh, then I'm ta I'm so addressing the trustees. I'm gonna have to ask you to either go. You can stay in the hall if you want, but I'm go addressing out there the trustees. So, so I mean, you, I can have quiet in here. You guys see when I'm at the meetings, though. Uh, okay, but look at you. You just push, push, push. Because I've, I'm know. done being nice. When I was being nice, I got ignored. And I'm, okay. And anyways, are you going to listen to what I had to say? I'm just trying to say something really quick without being interrupted. Okay. Just like okay. every time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You want to say something without being rough, interrupted, but you run on and on and on and on. What's your point? Yeah. The Would point you like me is, when you run on and on and on and on, for me, I turn you off then because you're not being respectful to me. So you don't listen to me because why? Because I run on? I'm just trying to explain the personal experience that's happening at it my house. That's no good to talk to you. You, you got your mind one way and doesn't make any difference what anybody says. You just you just want to be argumentative. I don't want to. I would like to solve this problem is what I would like. I'm not okay. trying to be argumentative at all. What? Grab that pretty bell that's coming out and take that to Tom as well. All right. But you come, I mean, you when I was talking to Patricia last week, I mean, you butted in there and were saying something about how the state is taking control away and I was like that's totally incorrect and I'm sorry that you believe that but I don't understand why we're still visiting that like if you don't understand that that the state did not take away control that was a house bill a bill does not become a law until it's voted and becomes a law right I know you don't really care exactly no I care no you don't but you're just running on and don't tell me what how I feel about something 
I didn't say how you felt. You just told me you didn't care. I have to have quiet now, thank you. Yeah. Close the door for me. Would yeah, you let's go in the other room. Yeah. You want to talk? Okay. I cannot. I'm just trying to talk. talk. If you're open for business hours, Michael, it says right on your freaking website. You're open till 2 o'clock to the public, and you just kicked me out. This is the time of treatment I'm getting from the All Great Township Hall. Oh, and this, this is actually what I wanted to talk about, Mr. Jim Herzog. Hey, there, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Good to see you. So I have, I'm curious because we've had chats here. Yeah. We've had chats, right? <clears throat> um, during township meetings, um, if your name is uh, Schweiderson or... Uh, what's his name, Wes? You're allowed to sit there and talk and talk and talk for five, ten minutes without even being interrupted, and you're letting people talk back and forth during meetings like that. But when I talk, you put a timer on for me, and you try to cut me off right at two minutes when I'm just trying to say what I have to say. And I'm just trying to, get, I'm just trying to find out why the zoning thing happened, and I'm, I've been asking you guys about this for 22 months now. Clearly, there was a violation of the zoning ordinance. So you guys either need to change the zoning ordinance. Mr. Ford, I'm not following your... Uh, go ahead. Start over, would you please? So the one thing is I don't appreciate being cut off during the township meeting, during public comment. You've said, you've stated on the record well before that you don't cut people off at two yeah. minutes. And there's plenty of examples of that. Like say, if you're Norma Swiderson or if you're Wesley... Crumbly, you can sit there and talk and talk and talk for much more than two minutes, for five minutes, and then you let the people converse back and forth. But when I'm just trying to make a simple point and just read a statement, I get cut off. And that's not very fair. You're not treating everyone fairly. So that's my first complaint. That's, that's what I'm upset about. Is I'm just, and people are tired of hearing this thing. You know, I'm tired of having to come up here and talk about it, you know? So... And I'm told you guys don't have time for me. It's like I've been trying to make appointments for a long time now with this. And it's just like, where are we going to go from here? I know you're hiring a new attorney, which I'm sure it has something to do with what's going on. Maybe, maybe not. But the uh, attorney was hired because the other one changed her practice. So it had nothing to do with you. I don't understand why we don't put up job postings when we have, we need someone to get uh, hired. Who would we uh, post a job for, a township attorney? Yeah, or like a zoning administrator or any type of work that you're seeking to get done. It seems like if you wanted to get a qualified person to do the job that you would put a job posting, that way you can review the candidates and select the candidate that has the most uh, experience. Hi, Tim. Hey, Jim, do you need me there or something? No, I, I don't think so. Uh, Mr. Ford stopped by for a friendly visit. Okay. All right. I, um... Are you back in town? I am. Uh, I planned on trying to meet you this afternoon. Okay. What, uh, what time? Well, um... 12, probably about one thirty, two o'clock. Sure. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. So, yeah, the job postings thing. So, I mean, I was asking about, before I sent some emails to Michael about job postings and stuff and, like, the zoning administrator. I haven't really gotten any answers. I finally got a contract that was given to me on Tuesday uh, from 2002 for a zoning administrator. So, do you guys not have a contract with the current zoning administrator? We talked to uh, more than one person before hiring our gal, and it's hard to find somebody interested in taking a job here, whether it's the uh, zoning administrator or uh, <coughs> cemetery worker or whatever. I mean, it's hard if you don't make a job posting, you know, but fair enough. I'm just curious, so there's no contract with Mr. Art Gallup? Like, how does he get paid? Does he... Does he log when he goes back to these visits, the sites, you know? That's why I'm curious, because he went back to Jeff's site, and it, 
And the contract that was given from Mr. Michael Oxley says that when he makes another further visit, he's supposed to charge another fee. He so, gets paid one fee for uh, each zoning application. That's it. It's a flat fee. Regardless how many times he visits. So. Yeah, but shouldn't he get paid to go? I mean, the contract I have from you, you guys. He's not that, on an hourly rate if that's what you're implying. Yeah, well, that, that's what... He does an hourly rate. He does? Yes, $18 an hour. All right, thank Can you. Can I interject here? Yeah, no, please. It's, sure. Yes, absolutely. Okay, he absolutely. gets mileage. He gets mileage. And he gets, um, like when he's on the phone, you know, if he's on the phone with somebody for an hour, he gets paid. He puts that down on a sheet, how many hours he has. When he goes and visits somebody, he puts down that time, and he gets the, um, the money from the zoning permits, the $50. He gets that. Okay. The entire $50. Yeah. Okay. No, thank it. you for that clarification. He gets that yeah, once a I month. I appreciate that. Because, um, I mean, the supervisor didn't even know that. Well, he doesn't do payroll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> he so can't know everything, you right. know. No, but I was just curious that there's not, how is there not a contract for this employee or whatever, you know. When was that contract that you found? It was 2002. Yeah. Okay, see, that was before me. Um, okay. I'm not saying that that's why. I just, no. since I've been there, there's never been a contract for the, um, for the zoning administrator. So Dan, I, Dan didn't have one? No, I've been here since 2008 when I retired from downstate, so. Um. So I mean, I'm just, my, my issue is I don't think that the zoning administrator knows his own duties because he doesn't have a contract. Because when you read the contract that he provided me in 2002, it does show the specific duties that the person is supposed to be doing. And when we when he spoke about it, he said that he doesn't have any responsibility to come back and visit a site once. I, I heard him say. Yeah, that. It's, are you? These are the words coming out of your mouth. Are you? I mean, I don't know whose responsibility that is. Myself, um, my responsibility is payroll. So that's yeah. not kind. Of, it's kind of not not my area of expertise, but. It's not mine either. You know, I didn't want to learn this much about zoning and things <laughs> either. Like this is not how I'd like to spend my free time, you guys. I mean. You know, this is, uh, it's unfortunate the way that things unfolded with the property next to my house, but mistakes were made. And can I just ask what kind of resolution would you think would be appropriate? Well, because there, because there's a motel operating next to my house in a residential district, I would like the motel to not be able to operate because for that, one, that would be your solution. Is that correct? Well, for one, I'd like him shut down and moved out of there 27 feet back. That's my number one. But I would be willing to make a compromise because since these are illegally zoned he, and he's not following the zoning ordinance in several ways, which I pointed out to you guys, that he should not be able to allow to run a short-term rental in these because he doesn't comply with the zoning. That's, it's very simple. If you don't comply with the zoning, you don't get the permit, just like the marijuana places. If you don't comply with all these strict requirements, you don't get your permit renewed. I'm not asking for anything special. That's why I'm conferring with an attorney. Okay, anything else for me? I gotta. I want to resolve this. Check something. Thank problem. you for the. You're thank welcome. you for that specifics. Okay. You said you were willing to compromise. Uh, what? How would you compromise? What would you be willing to compromise with? Well, the building should be moved first, so them not being moved would be a huge compromise on my end because my entire i mean i moved up here to make this my forever home you guys like i love the place i love all gray i'm not here just trying to capitalize on little loopholes which that's what this is, is a little loophole thing uh my whole entire plan was to build a second story on my house i have a really old house you know i mean it doesn't look that nice i've been working really hard to pay it off and get things moving with that but with neither um so i wanted to build a second story addition on my house and now i have a 35 foot blue wall that sticks 27 feet out in front of my house. So I need to either build my house in line with that now, or just have to look at this wall or whatever because of the, the zoning thing. So I mean, having those buildings move would be my number one. So a compromise would be to not let them be rented out as short term rentals because they do not comply with the zoning ordinance. I think that's very fair to ask. And he can rent. And that's why we need a resolution to this problem, and we need it soon. I agree. You know, and this has been going on for twenty. It started twenty-two months ago when I first brought this to your attention. You know, and I was told this isn't a township issue; it's an eagle issue. And I see. I mean, at the meeting, Art Gallup kept saying, "Oh, eagles involved," and I know they were involved. They told him where he couldn't build, but just because they said you can't build there doesn't mean you can build here. 
that was all on the zoning administrators that let them do that. And then he even said on the record, well, he didn't have enough room for his parking lots. And I don't know, is, is, a, is that like a residential term? Do, do we normally install parking lots in residences? That I don't know. No. No, it's, yeah, and it's not even in the, in the when you go through the definitions and stuff. And I, I kind of tried talking to you guys about this when he was trying to put it in the driveway initially, when he lied on his application saying he got a driveway permit from you guys. We were talking about the driveway parking lot, and we're going back and forth. We just went to the Planning Commission, actually, about this. It is just a driveway parking lot. And that's when Mike would look at them to say, no, that's for commercial things. But that turns out that's what, that's what this is. The entire, the backyard, which is, towards the road, the entire backyard is an, an entire parking lot. And then, you know, and it, it's just, it was, it's, it's, it's a commercial operation. It's, it's, you know, this is my home. This is where I live. This is where I like to relax and unwind after I go spend 50 hours a week at work. It's a, it's a commercial, it's a commercial use of a residential See you, Tom. place. See, See ya, have a good one, Tom. Well, so can, we're going to get this resolved. Yeah. Yeah. And it may very possibly end up in a court, so. Oh, I imagine it will. I mean, I, so. Ross Major was the first one to tell me to get the real estate attorney well before anyone here mentioned it. You know, I'd like to also just get this resolved. I don't want to come here every, you know, and I don't want to have to sit there and, you know, do what I do. I'm well, exhausted with it. And then we, so, I mean, this all started because he started renting these out before he even had the Airbnb and stuff. And so they have no rules. There's no rules for these short-term rentals. The people were blasting fireworks off their deck after 11 o'clock at night on a, a week that I would be going to work. I was working for West Crumby. I would be in Tawas by the airport at 5 a.m. every day, which means I was leaving my house around 4 a.m. And people were lighting up fireworks next door at their commercial establishment. Mm -hmm. You can see how that would not be, you know, and then this wasn't during the 4th of July weekend, this was car cruise weekend, which you're not allowed to light fireworks on that weekend, the 27th weekend of July. That's not a weekend for fireworks, especially that late. So, I mean, this has been an ongoing problem and that was the thing with the speakers. And then, so I'm sure you guys had heard Tim Robbins showed up. A man left my house in an ambulance after he walked into my house and attacked my girlfriend. Jim has heard it. I heard the story, yeah. A police report was never filed. I've called the records department several times. There's no record of that incident. No incident report, no police report. Yet the, the man left my house with a gash in his skull this big because I kicked him after assaulting us and then he left in an ambulance. It just looks really fishy because there's, how is there not a police report? I mean, this is kind of, a, I get it like a small like argument Sure, but this was not that. I mean, the house was broke, breaking and entering, assault, and then he had to go to the hospital for treatment. And then he was allowed to stay there for another week after that. So I'd like to have things in place for these short-term rentals for these people who are running these that if, like three strikes, you're out. When I was teaching university, three, that was my rule in my laboratory. Three strikes, you're out. You break three rules, because it, it could be a safety thing, and if you violate three safety rules, you can get seriously injured. Okay, see, this is where you lose me um, because we're talking about this and then all of a sudden you're flipping into something else and it's... Oh, just an example, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you know, but when I'm trying to, you know, put all this together and then... Well, my intention is to move this forward and yeah. get a resolution soon. Yeah, I'd like to have it, like, I'm just asking for this to be expediated, just like Wes Crumby got his expansion expediated, even though he has no intention on growing weed in that plot this year. So why did we have to rush? I mean, we spent four meetings, several hours for that. And it's like, that wasn't even an, an important issue. So, I mean, that's, that's why it makes it frustrating. Yeah. And we understand this is what's most important to you. You know, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff going on too, you right. know, and people coming in with what they think is the most important issue. You know, we had a lady in here this morning. That is most important, and it is to her too. So we don't jump on 
stuff right away. Mm -hmm. We can't, you know, we do have priorities. We took, we took steps to yeah. resolve her issue. Yeah. Um, it'll be taken care of tomorrow by the road commission. But we're listening. Yeah. We, we really are. So give us a break, okay? And let us try, try. Which is it can Just like I said in Pat's office, take a breath, okay? Just take a breath and give us a little more time. We're working on it. Right. So, I mean, I know we're trying to set up a special meeting with a few of us, but not a quorum to make it. I don't even care if it's a quorum. Bring them. Bring the, the... But we can't see our. That's what I said. We are. Our hands are tied legally in some areas. And <clears throat> I've been on the board for four years now. I, I don't know everything. Oh, yeah. I understand. That we're supposed to know. I know a little here and a little here. But, you know. Yeah, it's tough to get the big picture when you're just giving little yes. bits, for yeah. sure. Um, so yeah, I'm just asking for this to get expedited and I'd like to get this resolved, you know. I'm not, I don't want to keep living like That's this. That's what we want to do. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it dis it's too disruptive to a normal operation. Yeah, and it seems other people will understand their problem too. I mean, when they speak up, they're like, They well, do, but their issues are more most important to them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is most important to you, but other people, their issue is most important to them. And maybe they were ahead of you. Well, regardless, we got to get this resolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then, all right, so we're done with this. I'll be done. Let's, I'm done with the short term rental thing. So, the Eagle, uh, Pure Green and the Eagle deal got brought up at the last meeting or whatever. Okay, okay wait a minute. Now you're going to another issue. Yep. Yeah, I'm here. This is my only day off. Yeah, but. So, I, I'm not allowed to talk about more than one thing. Go ahead. What do you want to know? So, with the marijuana enforcement. Michael is named the marijuana enforcement officer, which means he goes around and checks these establishments to make sure they're in compliance with the township zoning for marijuana. Uh, that's, Go ahead. Yeah, so right, so that's, it's, I mean, so with Pure Green, I, they've had um, several, several violations with Eagle. And one that I just found out this past week was when Eagle was visiting there recently, and I don't think we have a resolution, is they installed a one megawatt generator, a gas turbine, without any permits, and they didn't have uh, any of the emissions testing completed or done at all whatsoever. So, I mean, this how did this one million watt generator get installed? And like, because, I mean, so there's these people are bending the rules, they're breaking the rules continually, and yet we continue to give these people permits to operate and destroy our neighborhood. Are they, they are inspected semi-annually by the state, correct? The state can come in any time. Yeah, they, I think they come in maybe at least once a year. Right. But they also pop no, in randomly. Yeah. To see if they're in compliance. They're trying to bust them for different things, but they found out they didn't have a... The ego issue was with their septic. Well, that was one, but now there's the other one with the generator. I don't even know if you guys know about this. I just found this out last week. Oh, I didn't know about they installed, it. Know. They installed a one megawatt generator gas engine. We use one. At, I work at a weed place, too. We have three of them. They have to go through strict testing, uh, control emissions, just to make sure and test the gases to see where they're at with their emissions. So these people installed it without any permits. Eagle didn't even know about it until they came there and did the visit, which I think the visit was because people were complaining about the smell. And which came, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of issues with this, and I just feel like that's even being ignored. It's not like this isn't a new problem, you know. The issue with the smell is not being ignored. Yeah. It isn't. Well, it says that you have to have that carbon filtration in place to for the permit, mm -hmm. and they never had it, so they should have never got a permit. I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not like it's not like, I mean, hundreds of people probably called about the smell around that pure green. Uh, people have commented lately how much better it is since the meeting with the uh, 
uh, people here in the board. With them? You're right. Yeah. No, I, I agree. It's not as bad as it used to be. They, and it's only going to be bad on the, on the days that uh, you're harvesting products. That's what the lowest, which, which is Tuesdays and Wednesdays there. I don't know if it's every week or every other week. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, we can agree that the clerk probably has enough duties by himself doing clerk duties that he probably shouldn't be the marijuana enforcement officer. There should be someone going into these buildings and checking these out to see if they're in compliance, to see if what's actually going on. More regular visits. It would cost them money. It would bring money into the township. You know. That's a thought. Yeah, I mean. Okay. Did, is, uh, did Pat and Robert pay a visit to them recently? Pardon? Did Pat and Robert from the Planning Commission pay a visit to them recently? She yeah, but I did. don't remember when. Yeah, I think it happened somewhat recently. Yeah. yeah. About three weeks ago? I'm since, not sure when it was. It was since that meeting yeah. with them. Yeah, it would have been in the last mm -hmm. couple months for sure that I was told about that mm -hmm. happening and stuff. But I mean, not to be, so I mean, when the Eagle came out and saw that their septic was overflowing and they gave him the citation or whatever, mm -hmm. they came back and visited a month later and the same problem was still happening. Oh, the I septic waste, so. okay. I have it, I have it in writing from Eagle. Well, I... So they did two site visits and that's, now it's, it's <clears> not <throat> happening now, but it was like once they first discovered it, and they let them know and cited them. And then they came back out and it was still going on where they were pumping their septic, overflowing their septic tank. You know, and that's, a, that's the thing. Like if we see these players who are continually making violations with no regards to the law or the safe public safety that we really need to step in at the local level. I mean, that's, what, that's where it starts. I mean. Mm -hmm. So, this is okay, a, this is... so you hit that. You hit your place. Now you hit the marijuana place. Is there another? No, I was going to say this is a okay. parallelism of operate, letting these operators who run businesses in here constantly violate laws, zoning, and rules and regulations while you continue to bend over backwards to help these people out. And it's, it's, really, it's really frustrating to see. Yeah. Nobody well, is not treated any different yeah. than anybody else. Yeah. Regardless, I may mean, not always like their attitude when they come in here, but they're not ignored. Well, I felt ignored, so I mean, that's well, my attitude has changed drastically in the last two years coming here. I've been <clears> here since, and since nobody, I moved up here. Nobody in the hall is going to be abused. Yeah, I'm not people trying to come in here with the idea they're going to abuse the workers here. That's not going to happen. So. I hope that's not in reference to me. I'm not trying to abuse anyone. I'm just trying to get copies of records usually because they've been. This has been well, really you're different. You're entitled to that, and that's why I bring a recording too because it helps helps hold me accountable too. Because if I'm a giant jerk, I mean it's going to show there as well. So, mm -hmm. and I also like to review what I was said back to me because sometimes the board says a lot of things and. It's hard to gather all that in, in a sitting, sitting really quickly. So if I can review it over it later on another time, you know, I have right. to go make complaints with the sheriff's department about this thing with Tim not filing a police report. Mm -hmm. and that's a whole other can of worms I got to deal with. It's like, so it's not like, it's not very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, okay, so continue on. So this, sorry, the zoning thing, I, I emailed Michael about this. And at the building department, this, those A-frames would have never been built. If the, our Arnett County Building Department would have been the building inspectors in charge, because you have to have a septic permit on file before they'll issue a building permit. I have an appointment with him Wednesday. So I'm just asking you to please go back to the our Arnett County Building Department because this That's was not a, the way you put it in your email, and I don't respond to demands very well. But I am meeting with the building inspector on Wednesday, so. Well, I'm sorry about how maybe the tone of my email sounded, but I'm living that's next... In, that's in regard to your request. So. Right. I appreciate that. No, yeah. I'm glad to know that. I really appreciate that, Jim. Because I've talked to the Gary Johnson or whatever, and I have a recording with him because I did the same thing, and he's had not a lot of good things about you guys. 
and he just like he's I don't understand he's like a third party independent building inspector like you know I, I don't know about no I know it's really weird he goes three different counties he does Midland County Bay County and then he comes up here just for us and I don't know who mm -hmm. else uses him but he maybe he's a spread a little thin and and he bends the rules a little bit and that's unfortunate because those buildings should have never been issued a building permit without a septic or sanitary permit. And we well knew that these had sanitary issues at this property before we got there. Okay. So I look forward to Appreciate meeting. Appreciate you coming in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Eric. I look forward to us meeting in the future and uh, solving these problems because it's, We're been, working a, it's on been a nightmare. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I really apologize about my tone and my attitude, especially as of recently, but... That's sometimes why the two-minute limit is put in place. But it used to be a very liberal with letting people talk. Mm -hmm. And that what got out of hand, so that can't happen. Yeah, I mean, the, mech the, the meeting you know. with Norma, that was crazy meeting. Well, when it's only fair us. to let people speak, but on the same token... Uh, they have to stick to what they want to talk about and not ramble on. So. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, in the back and forth banter between the different, you know, groups. Not acceptable. Yeah. And the behavior of some people over attacking others is not acceptable. Right. That really isn't acceptable. Totally. You know. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I, I don't, I try not to do any personal attacks. I do mention the so if the art gallop and if he doesn't have a contract, he might not know his duties. I don't think it's his fault, honestly. And that's okay. So well, we're gonna get this resolved. I appreciate yeah. it. Okay. Thank you guys for your time. All right. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Thanks.